Welcome to the first of a three-part video series on the Framing Square Rafter Tables. In this video, we'll look at lines 1 and 2 that correspond to the length of both common and hip and valley rafters per foot of run. My name is Ben O'Gork and I'll be your host through this process. I'm an amateur carpenter, but I have a strong background in math and that's given me the desire to understand where these numbers come from. In this series, we're going to look at the numbers under the 4 inch mark. These numbers correspond to a roof that has a 4 and 12 pitch. That is, for every 12 inches in run, the roof rises 4 inches vertically. The first number we're after is 1265, and the way you would read that is 12.65 inches. That's the length of the common rafter per foot of run. In these examples, we'll be using a hip roof. And common rafters are going to be at a right angle to the plates and also to the ridge. We're using the four column on the framing square, and that is a four and 12 pitch, 12 inches of run, four inches of rise for the roof, and that applies to the common rafters. Think of this as a part, a piece of a common rafter. Maybe a 12 inch piece right there. Then the rafter is the same length as the hypotenuse of this triangle. Now, if this is the A side and this is the B side, you probably know the relationship in a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the length of the hypotenuse. That's also the same thing as saying c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. Let's go ahead and, and use our calculator to get that number. a squared, 12 times 12, 144, 4 squared, 16, we'll take the square root of the whole thing, square root of 160, 12 point, we'll round that 6 to 65, and there you go, 12.65. The next number we need to match is 1744, or 17.44 inches of hip or valley per foot of run. We drew a hip roof up here, so we can use that. Now for our hip rafters, we know there's a 45 degree angle between the hip rafter and the plates. A 45 degree angle means that we have a diagonal line right here. And if I have 12 inches of run, that's, well, that's gonna be 12 inches of rise. Let's take this triangle and let's um, blow it up. So we're still in plan view, we're looking down 45 degrees we have 12, we have 12. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna say, well, if you have 12 inches of common run, what is that equivalent to in terms of hip or valley run? This is a right triangle. We can use our a squared plus b squared equals c squared relationship. We have 12 squared plus 12 squared. That's equal to 144 plus 144 or 288. Let's go ahead and use the calculator to get that square root, 288. Okay, 16.97. Now, you may have seen before, just this written as the number 17. Um, I'm going to keep the decimal places on just to remind you that we had to take a square root to get that number. It's not just a magic number 17 from somewhere. So this is a top view, and now we're going to look at this uh, side view. Okay, so we have our a piece of our hip rafter. We have a piece of our hip rafter, but as our common rafter moves 12 inches, our hip rafter actually moved 16.97 inches. And in that same distance, it, uh, as it moves 16.97 inches, well, a common rafter only went 12 inches. And since we know that our roof is a four and 12 pitch, we know that by the time the hip rafter got to the, the corner of the triangle, it only went up four inches. So actually the pitch of the hip rafter is four in 17, or to be more precise, 16.97. Now we're back at the same place we were at before with the common rafter. We use a squared plus b squared equals c squared to get this side, and that's gonna be our answer. Well, we know uh, four times four is 16, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. And then, um, 16.97 times 16.97. OK, 
Okay, plus 16. Take a square root of that number, and we have 17.4, and the 3, 5 rounds up to 4. And there we've matched our number. That's the, the size of, of the hypotenuse here. And representing the length of the hip rafter uh, per foot of common run. This concludes lines one and two of the framing square rafter tables. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll look at lines three and four and calculate the difference in lengths of hip jack rafters with both 16 and 24 inch centers.